Now, we are in Topic 5, Age of the Earth. Understanding the Age of the Earth, is a key to understanding human evolution. The Age of the Earth, may represent the Age of the Earth's accretion. Of core formation, or of the material, from which the Earth formed. The Age of the Earth, has been a matter of interest to humans for millennia. The Age of the Earth, is estimated to be about 4,500 million years ago. To describe the timing, and relationships of events, that have occurred during Earth's history. Geologists, and scientists, have created the geological time scale. Now, we will emphasize the topic of geological time scale. Geological time scale, is a system that has recorded the chronological events. Chronological events, are the events occurred during the history of the Earth. Skinning, which is estimated to be about 4,500 million years ago. The geological time scale, is used by geologists, and scientists. To describe the timing, and relationships of events, throughout the Earth's history. The geological time scale, is divided into the major divisions, called, Enos. And, each of the Enos, further divided into, Eras. And, each of Eras, can be divided into, Periods. In general, the age of the Earth, can be divided into four Enos. The Hadean, the Archean, the Proterozoic, and the Phanerozoic. The Hadean, the Archean, and the Proterozoic, are the three subdivision, of the Precambrian Aeons. The Phanerozoic Enos, can be divided into three eras. The Paleozoic Era, that occurs in between, 550-250 million year ago. The Mesozoic Era, that occurs in between, 250, to 65 million year ago. The Cenozoic Era, that occurs in between, 65, to 1.8 million year ago. About the Precambrian Aeon The life has begun from organism, consisting of one cell. And then, developed into a more complex organism, by the end of the Precambrian. After the Precambrian, the Earth move into the new era, Paleozoic era. This era begun at 550 million year ago, and, ended at 250 million year ago. This era is divided into six periods. The first two eras is, Cambrium, and Ordovician era. Cambrium era occurs at, 550 million year ago. And Ordovician era occur at, 500 million year ago. This two period, also known as, Age of Interbrats. Where, the invertebrates, and fishes began to appear. The following period of the Paleozoic era is, Silurian, which occurred at 450 million year ago. This is the time of great transition of life, from water, to land. About the Devonian period of Paleozoic era. It occurred at time, 400 million year ago. Devonian period, also known as, Age of Fishes. Because, the evolution of large fishes, were observed. And in same age, the terrestrial plants were observed. About the Carboniferous, and Permian period of Paleozoic era. Reptiles began to emerge in Carboniferous period, and extinct in the Permian period. This is about the Mesozoic era. During the Mesozoic era, dinosaurs emerged in Triassic period. Dinosaurs thrived, during the Jurassic period, and experienced extinction, in Cretaceous period. About the Cenozoic Era Diversification of mammals, occurred in Tertiary Period. And, evolution of human beings, occurred in Quaternary Period. Now, let's see the ways, to determine the age of the Earth. The age of the Earth, is around 4.5 billion years old. The age of the Earth, can be determined by, using radiometric dating. Radiometric dating is the technique of determining the age of the rocks, or carbon material. Based on the breakdown of the radioactive isotopes, of certain elements, which, contained in the samples. Some natural materials, 
contoactive isotopes. The radioactive isotopes is not stable matter. It will decays and generates a stable isotopes over time. For example, uranium and thorium are not stable, they will decay to lead. Carbon 14 will decay to carbon 12. At which, two neutrons leave from carbon 14 to be carbon 12. Such a phenomena, because, carbon 12 is more stable than carbon 14. In radiometric dating process, by calculating the percent age of the stable isotope from the sample, the age of the sample can be determined. To determine the age of the Earth, radiometric dating can be applied to the oldest rock on the Earth. The oldest dated rocks on Earth are aggregate of minerals that have not been subsequently broken down by erosion or melted. The oldest dated rocks are more than 4 billion years old. The Acasta Nice in the Slave Craton, in Northwest Territories, Canada. It is the oldest known rock on the Earth, and it is 4.03 billion years old. Radiometric dating can be applied to lead materials found on the Earth, on the Moon, and in the meteorites. Radiometric dating can be applied to objects from space, such as meteorites, and sample from the Moon. This topic is about the fossils. Fossils are the remains, or traces of the prehistoric animals, and plants, which are naturally, preserved in sedimentary rocks. Fossils preserve the ancient life forms, and, they give valuable information, about the history Earth. From the fossils, we able to gain information about the types of animals and plants that existed throughout the history of the Earth. Paleontologists, the scientists who study fossils, have divided fossils into two categories. The first is, body fossils. Body fossils, preserved body parts of prehistory animals or plants. The second is, the trace fossils. Trace fossils, preserved signs of prehistory animals' activities, such as footprints, feeding marks, and burrows. This is the full content of the topic, fossils. This topic is, the importance of fossils, to the development of science today. Scientific importance of fossils, is as following. The first, fossils can be acting as, the age indicators. The second, fossils acting as, the paleoclimate indicators. The third, fossil can be acting as, the evidence of evolution. The fourth, fossil can be acting as, the record of the survival of species. As the number of discovered fossil increase, scientists have arranged the fossils, into the fossil record. A fossil record is a group of fossils, which has been analyzed. And, arranged chronologically, and in taxonomic order. From the fossil records of different eras, scientists found more evidence of evolution. Fossil records, help us to understand the changes, that happened on Earth over the time. With different climate, different environment, and different life forms. Fossil records, disclose the species, that became extinct. Fossil records have been used to match layers of rock at a different time. And, the relative age of rocks can be determined. This is the full contents of Topic 5, Age of the Earth.